Okay, Oni Murders in the Building Season 2. My god, what an ending last night, right? So, we are definitely going to get a Season 2 revolving around the same characters. Now, I was initially believing when I heard that there was going to be a Season 2 that this was going to be some anthology-type series of sorts. I was excited about that, but I'm even more excited to know that Oliver's coming back. Definitely my favorite character in this. So, where did we leave off yesterday? So, before we get into that, make sure you've checked out my ending explained. Make sure you've watched the ending to this show before you watch this because... We're going to get into a ton of spoilers for the first season, so if you haven't watched it, uh, definitely go all the way back to Hulu and watch it, and then watch my videos explaining all of the stuff that happened. But if you've already finished the show, thank you, and if you are here and you haven't already subscribed to the channel or turned on the notification bell, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and do that right now. But let's get into this whole debacle of what happened at the end. So as we know at the end of season uh, one's finale, Pretty much Jan was shown to be the true killer of Tim Kono due to a really bad breakup and Charles was up next as well as some other people in the building. Mabel and Oliver are able to find all of the clues that will lead to Jan's arrest as they find the poison that she used for Tim Kono as well as the knife she used to stab herself and basically just be like, yeah, let's get this bitch. So what we see happen while all of this is happening as they're collecting the clues is that jan has sort of poisoned charles sort of intoxicated him in a way that he can't move or anything like that which sets up some very hilarious moments where charles can't get up but is trying to get up um but yeah definitely check that episode out it was great so what we see then happen is jan ultimately does get caught the gang pretty much solves the murders and now we're just wondering what is next where do we go from here and mabel is just like it doesn't feel like everything's over just yet to me there feels like there's some loose ends and loose ends my goodness yes indeed mabel goes off on her own and then oliver and charles get some text to get out of the building they try to go get mabel and they find her full of blood on her and what looks to be oscar and i was just like hold away i was like thinking throughout this whole finale i was like hold on there was still that first scene in season well season one of course episode one where we saw mabel in that opening shot with this body that now we know this hoodie belongs to oscar and i was just like when are they going to show it and like five minutes later it's right there for us to see turns out it ain't oscar though so who is this new person that got killed? It's actually Bunny. And I was just like, what the fuck's going on? Because Bunny actually is killed with Mabel's knitting needle. And then we see the police arrest all three of them, go to jail. The whole building's watching. Done. Where the hell are we going here next? So here are my thoughts on the ending. I thought it was great. I thought that this was a very well done show. Definitely one of the best shows this year. And I am excited to see what comes next. Now, of course, there is a new podcast theme out there, which I think is going to come into play very heavily in this new season, which is only murderers in the building. So very interested how that develops right there. My thoughts on the ending, I thought, as I said, very good very much so kept you on your toes till the very end and still keeps you on your toes here but now for the theories of who done it now who done it so i don't think this is somebody who was very much so a person that was close to jan i think there's something else here and i think like i said in my ending explained that this has to do with the jewels themselves that's one theory for sure that this is somebody close to the Damasis that is very much so pissed off at these people for doing this. I don't think this is Jan's doing anymore. I think this is something that's going towards Charles, Mavel, and Oliver. Because I think they uncovered something bigger. And so they're out to get them now. So I have a theory that it could be also Jose, Oscar's dad. But I don't think so anymore. Like, why would he be trying to do anything now, right? So... That's why I think that this is something that's been uncovered by both Oscar, Mabel, Charles, and Oliver. But Oscar's not really like blamed for this because he's just pretty brand new, not part of the podcast face. So they're just going after the main people in the podcast. Because I think once the Damases were put in jail and all of that, maybe some other secrets were uncovered. And somebody higher up is probably pissed at them for uncovering all of this that they were doing. So definitely, I believe that the Damases thing is going to be coming back around. 
and I'm just so excited to see what is going to be happening here. So, what are your thoughts? What are your theories on what happened here? As I said, I believe Bunny was tragically killed because of this due to them trying to frame them. I don't think there was something against Bunny or anything like that. And I think Bunny was also chosen not just because she's a random target, but somebody in that building had to know that there was sort of some animosity between like Oliver and Bunny and Charles and all of them. And so it just made like sense for them to do that. So they would have some cause as to why they killed Bunny. As you know, Bunny was trying to get them out of the building for the longest. So it just was like they were putting the pieces together so that they would go down as well. So... As I said, my theory is that this is with the Damasis. I don't think that they were going to put, put away that fast. And then we weren't never going to hear about them. I do believe we will be seeing more of them come season two. So it should be interesting to see how all of this plays out. What are your thoughts and theories on this? Do you think that I'm right on the money? Or do you think that I'm missing something? I just can't think of anybody else who would be going all the way to do this because of like them just giving the building a bad name or things like that this is somebody who's pissed off at them for doing what they did and really wants them to pay so i that's the only one i could think of somebody higher up from the demosses that got affected by the whole jewelry thing being taken down so yeah that's my thoughts and my theories let me know yours down in the comments below what did you think about the ending are you excited for season two and what are you hoping to see come season two I really hope um, we do see some more uh, of Bronzo's stunt double. I thought some of those scenes were very uh, hilarious. And I'm excited to see you. As I've said, this is one of the better shows that's out there right now. So definitely give it a watch if you haven't already. Make sure you also give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that notification bell. Hit that subscribe button, all that good stuff. Because once we get new news, new details on what's to come for season two... I'm making a video on it so if you're a fan of this or any show like american horror story chucky or, or all the movies that come out definitely give my channel a look because i cover pretty much everything here as i said but yeah those are just my quick thoughts my theories on what season two could be so let me know yours as always that is going to do it for me if you haven't already check out the video on the left make sure you comment down below your favorite horror movie i am doing a big list video next week on all of the commented uh, horror movies throughout the uh, month that I asked people to comment and just give everybody a big list of horror movies to watch so should be fun and make sure you turn on the notification bell turn on that subscribe button on and I'll see all of you next time stay safe stay positive